Over 27 years ago, Leatherman came out with this small multi-tool, aptly named the Micra, because it is very small, easy to carry, and it can be used for so many tasks. But 27 years have gone by, and is the Micra just a little bit too old to handle modern tasks? Now, one of the new multi-tool companies that have sort of been rising through the ranks is Nextool. And Nextool, it seems like every year, comes out with better, more innovative products. And their things that they offer aren't always perfect, but I always do enjoy reviewing them. And this product right here is the Nextool Mini Sailor. It has the scissors, the knife, and some other great tools. And I actually enjoy carrying this more than the Mini Flagship with a huge set of scissors. I just feel like this is a more streamlined, compact, and it fits my needs better. But just this year, Nextool has upped the game and added scissors instead of pliers to be the main focal point of the new Mini Sailor scissors version. One of the things I love about this is that it doesn't sacrifice the pliers, however. It does add a small set, very reminiscent of Victorinox. And the Gerber dime uh, series, the splice and so forth, they do not have pliers, neither does the Leatherman Micra, but Nextool does thoughtfully add, even though they're small, uh, fairly thin this set of pliers to their tool, which I like. You also have a SIM card ejector. This tool right here is the bottle cap lifter and a small screwdriver. You have a fairly okay Phillips screwdriver for the size. You have a very sharp knife. I just cut myself uh, reviewing this taking a couple takes ago. And then you do have a file with a very nice screwdriver and at the end as well. Now, comparing the tool set to the Leatherman Micra, the Leatherman has tweezers instead of pliers. It has this sort of multi-tool on a multi-tool right here with several functions right here, including a bottle cap lifter and a micro driver. And this just has the larger screwdriver and the bottle cap lifter. Then you have a Phillips of sorts, but I like this more defined Phillips driver on this one. I prefer it. And then you have more of a nail file, whereas the next tool goes more toward a larger, heavier duty style tool. And then we have the separate screwdriver. Next tool sort of combines these two into one. And then there is the knife. So let's go ahead and combine the size right here. And it looks like they're very close. Next tool, oh, they're pretty much the same, it looks like. So let's go ahead and fold these up. And let's look at the main tool on these, the scissors. Now, as before, I have not sharpened my Micra, so it is it will perform the same as it has before. Let's go ahead and get these, get this paracord rather. And with the next tool, it just cuts. You can cut on the tip right there, or mostly the tip. There we go. You can cut further back. You can cut clear at the end. Let's try this tip again right here. And I'm not sure if it had quite enough room, but it cuts very, very well all day long. Let's go ahead and try the Leatherman Micra. Fold the tools up and let's check this out. And it just sort of squashes, squashes, squashes. Now I have to say in real world use, Essentially, the only multi-tool I use scissors for are the leather, is a Leatherman Micra for small task. That is my go-to tool. So it's really hard for me to say the scissors aren't good because for small task, it is exactly what I need. But whenever I cut paracord and heavier duty things, I do realize the Leatherman Micra is not quite up to par. Again, this is an older tool, perhaps the blades need sharpening, but I can even see right here that the next tool, Mini Sailor, does seem to have a little bit beefier set of scissors. So I really like the Mini Sailor. I do like the Micra still, but I have to say that for heavier duty task, cutting uh, twine and rope, I probably would in the future, if I have both of these on hand, definitely 
pick up the next tool because I know the scissors will cut a little bit better. And I would probably carry this over the Micra because it does have that set of pliers, albeit small they are, that I could use in emergency as a backup. Let me know what you think. This is on AliExpress for around the $17 mark right now. Hopefully it'll soon be on Amazon if it isn't already and more available for you to purchase.